Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is part 35. Today we're going to do some exploring around Monstro Town. So let's go into the second house of the village. We have a canine here who keeps track of our super jump record. And my record is 41. Oh crap, that's a terrible number. That n number is bad luck, it has bad luck written all over it. But, you do get you do get some prizes from K9. If you uh, get 30 jumps at least, you get an attack scarf. And you also get something if you get 100 super jumps. However, 100 super jumps is nearly insane, so let's not even worry about that. Uh, and just so you know, I did all the super jumps off camera when I was uh, redoing my progress for this game. And as you can see, that uh, key up there is actually about to fall off. So let's keep talking to this thwomp who seems to be moving the key off the ledge. I didn't know how many times I needed to talk to him, so I just talked to him three times. And we got the temple key. That key actually goes to Balome Temple. This third door is sealed, but the shiny stone actually opens it. However, we're not going to even attempt to go in that door yet. Those who have played this game probably know what's behind there already, but I'll get into that later. And here we run into Goomba in the item shop. Uh, this is the Goomba that was actually in Bowser's Koopa Troop before he became a pussy and ran away. <clears throat> and he is going to sell you some things if you talk to him. And the little Goombets or Goom bits or whatever they're called will sell you some stuff as well. However, they only sell you one item, a mushroom. So they're pretty much useless. Goomba, on the other hand, has some stuff you want to buy. We have Bowser's second most powerful weapon and his, I want to say, third most powerful armor. If you don't count the lazy shell and other items that you can get later. But we'll talk about that later. But we have the Spike Link and the Courage Shell, so Bowser should be probably our most powerful party member at this time. But that'll change in time, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm not going to worry about giving any of the items to anybody. I'm going to just keep them the way they are, I think. Um, let's see. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh well, let's not worry about it. Let's, well, I don't know. Now we're done. Okay. We're going to sell some weapons. Um, don't need the Hurley Gloves or the Happy Shell anymore. I'm going to keep the Masher for a little bit longer. Let's move on to the fifth door. But first, let's go into this door. There's a hidden chest right here. Around here. There it is. Frog coin. And that little hole right there, that's a save point. I have no idea why they made the save point look like that, but whatever. Now we're going to go into the fifth door. Feel free to rest here, the three musty fears. Let's turn off the light. So this is the inn of this town, I guess. But something's going to happen to Mario during the night. Hello, Greeper. Hi, Big Boo. Dry Bones, you're a weirdo. He's sleeping. Boy, he sure is. Check those bubbles coming out of his nose. <laughs> Maybe he can still hear us while we're sleeping. Want to find a round of find the flag? Yeah, find all three flags and you'll win an awesome prize. And then the mushroom guy comes alive. They'll be back. <laughs> okay, thanks for the warning. Okay, I'm back. I hid my fl flag behind a wooden flower. I'm home. My flag's under a green bed. I'm back. You'll never guess my spot. It's between an O and an A. Our flags are invincible, so search for them really carefully. And yes, there is an indicator to when you find a flag. So let's go ahead and find those flags. Okay, the first flag hint was uh, behind a wooden flower. Let's go to a town of flowers, Rosetown. 
Look, there's a wooden flower right there. Yep, we found Greeper's flag. Now let's go uh, get that other hint. Uh, between an O and an A. The only O and A I know of is... The giant goal sign on the ground. Big Boo flag. Next we're going to find a green bed, which is kind of an obvious hint that where you need to go. Um, even if it's not the right location, you're kind of thinking along the same lines, so... Um, Mario has a green bed, so it must be at Mario's pad. Dry bones flag. Okay, we got all the flags. See, it wasn't that hard. Although, I mean, it might be a little harder for some people who, like, get the game for the very first time and try to beat it, because... I think I had a guide when I was younger, so I knew where the flags were immediately. But, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to go back to Monster Town and see what happens when we take another rest inside the bed after finding all the flags. <laughs> Good job, you found all the flags. Hey, you're not half bad. You did pretty well. We had a great time too. Thanks for playing our game. Now the grand prize giveaway. Don't forget what we told you. Okay, so now um, check your items or your um, equipment. Mario is equipped with a ghost medal. And it raises your defense while attacking. Not sure exactly what that means, but... If you have a free slot for an accessory, I guess Ghost Metal will be an okay item to use. But now we're actually going to go to the last area of uh, Monster Town. Besides that third door, which we will not be venturing in at this time. We're going in here. Who is it? Sorry, but the Sensei is gone right now. Oh my gosh. It's uh, another one of Bowser's um, Koopa Troop members who also was a pussy and ran away. But here he is, training in the dojo to become stronger, so... That's a good thing. So I think now we're gonna actually maybe challenge him. This is a fighting dojo. He can't be that hard, can he? Here it comes. Okay, I'm gonna say right now... These battles are actually pretty easy in my opinion, however, when you're dealing with lag from recording setups, this battle can actually be really, really difficult. This battle and all the other fighting dojo battles from now on, so, yeah. If you have great timing though, on physical attacks, these battles should be really easy for you. You should still be at a relatively high level, though, when you challenge the final competitor, but still, it's not really that bad. It's just a little bad right now because there's so much lag on my recording setup, so I can't really get the correct timing for certain moves. Like, I'd normally be able to dodge that attack really, really well. And see, I did dodge it relatively well right there. It's just that little small timing window can be difficult when you're uh, doing it like this. And we beat Jagger. I should also mention that um, you don't gain any experience or coins for these battles. Nor if you lose, uh, you don't get a game over. You actually just uh, go back to the beginning of the fight. Or not the beginning of the fight, but like before you challenge them. So you don't have to, like, redo stuff if you just decide to challenge him out of the blue. <laughs> he seems scary, so let's not fight him right now. That's, uh, Jinx. You did get a reward from beating Jinx. But, let's not worry about Jinx right now. Let's go ahead and save. And I think I should probably end the video here. Uh, sorry I didn't really progress with the storyline any, but... I just want to take a few minutes to do that and just get that out of the way, show you some of the things around Monstro Town. But next time we will venture out to Bean Valley 
and continue this game. So see you tomorrow. This is Slim Kirby. Later, folks. Have a good evening.